Hello, you miss me? Uh, today we're going to be starting uh, to look at our new way of, um, of listening to music through the critical process. Uh, whereas in the past, when we've asked you to play some new music for us, we've just had you uh, present something that maybe no one has heard before and just let that music kind of wash over us. We're actually going to go through the critical process. That's the process that was introduced to you through the smart board activity the other day. Uh, and let's just briefly review that process. This is the, the chart for the critical process. The critical process has several stages. The first of those stages is fairly obvious. That's the initial impression stage. That's the stage in which you're just hearing a piece for the first time. You're first experiencing it as an art form. It's the same process if you were seeing a piece of art for the first time or, or watching a dance performance or a dramatic performance for the first time. Just that first initial impression, how it strikes you. Next is the description phase and you might think that's almost the same as the uh, first impression but really the first impression once you start putting it into words and, and have to start explaining your first impression, that impression actually changes words. At the same time you're describing, you're often also doing two more stages, and that is you're learning about cultural context, a little bit about background and, and culture, uh, both of the performer and of the kind of audience that, uh, that might want to listen to this kind of music. And you're doing some analysis, analysis on two levels, both analysis of the music, so you might look at the rhythm or melody, uh, remember, I'm encouraging you to use those musical literacy terms like melody and pitch and duration, tempo, dynamics, all of those words that we use to describe music. So that's one type of analysis. The other type of analysis and interpretation has to do with uh, what the composer or the artist wanted us to feel or what action they wanted us to take, those kinds of uh, reading between the lines things. And that all winds up, hopefully, with a much more informed opinion, of opinion that will lead to an expression of an informed point of view. Now, we're asking you to record that on the sheets that we're giving you there today. And there are several sections there. Some of them are pretty obvious. That Along the top there, we have song, artist, and presenter. Song is the name of this song or piece of music you're presenting. The artist would be the composer and or the, um, the performer. And finally, presenter is the person from the class, me today, who uh, is sharing some music. Start off with the initial impression box. In the initial impression box, I just want you to write down uh, your very, very first impression of the, of the work, and it cannot be any longer than three words. Just three words in there. Now description, that's where we want you to start describing the piece and kind of justifying your initial impression just a little bit through describing what it is you hear. Once again, I'll encourage you to use those musical terms. Analysis, uh, this really needs to happen in the context of some other information that you'll get on background and culture and perhaps uh, some stylistic information as well. So those two boxes, the background and culture box and the analysis box, will really be happening at almost the same time. And finally, in the explanation box, that's where you're going to fill in where your head is now after having moved from that initial impression through uh, a little bit of analysis. You've learned a little bit of cultural background, what the intention of the work was, um, and that will allow you to have a little bit more informed opinion and that informed opinion is what's going to go in the explanation box of our critical process record. Okay, I, I hope that helps. Now, I'm going to play a piece of music for you. Just kind of let it wash over you, and then we'll have you fill in the initial impression of that piece. man I never had a brain all I scatter is aches and pains I'm 
carbolic acid and a poison face, and I stand flat-footed in favor of crime and disgrace. If I ever done a good deed, I'm sorry of it. I'm mean in the east and mean in the west, mean to the people that I like the best. I go around and cause a lot of accidents, and I push folks around and I cause train wrecks. I'm a big disaster, just going somewhere to happen. I'm an organized famine, studying how I can be a little bit meaner. Everybody in this world looks mean to me. There's nothing put here good on earth that I can see. Steal the nickels off of dead people's eyes, and I spend them trying to learn how to get a little wiser, be a little meaner. I'm still too good to suit myself. Mean, that's all. Just plain old mean. I ride around on the subway trains laughing at the tight shoes dealing the pain. And I laugh when the car shakes from side to side and I laugh at the loudest when other people cry. I just can't help it, I guess. I was born good, just like you. But I turned off mean. I hate everybody don't think like me and I'd rather see you dead than never see you free. I'd rather see you starve to death than see you at work And I'm reading all I can now to learn how to hurt Deal misery, spread diseases Keep you without no vote Keep you without no union I hurt when I see you get along so well I ten times rather see you in the fires of hell I couldn't stand to see you in the house fixed nice I'd like to keep you in that rotten hole there, all full of bugs and lice. Roaches, turnamites, sand fleas, tater bugs, grub worms, stinger reeds, vinegarones, translers, spiders, childs of the earth, ticks and blowflies, and these is all of my little angels. Help me to do the best part of my meanness, and mosquitoes. Well, I used to be a pretty nice feller, but I turned a scab and then I turned yellow and I fought every union with teeth and toenail and I sprouted a six-inch stinger right in my tail. I growed horns, cut them off, wanted to fool you. I hate union everywhere because God likes unions and I hate God. If I can get the fat to hating the lean, that'd tickle me more than anything I've seen. Then I'd get colors to fighting one another, friend against friend and sister again brother. That'll be it, to stripe it against the polka dots. That'll be just it, everybody's brains are boiling in turpentine, and their teeth falling out all up and down the sidewalks. That'll just suit me. I ain't no union man because I hate everything that's organized and planned. I love to hate and I hate to love. I'm mean. Just mean, that's all. Just plain old mean.